idea behind this was that there were some preliminary data um, several years ago that showed that uh, pancreas tumors that have germline BRCA mutations. And at that point, we knew the range was maybe 5 to 15 percent. We knew that those tumors were sort of responded differently than the other pancreas tumors. They seem to be especially uh, uh, quite um, uh, sensitive to platinum-based agents. So Talia Golan, who's the senior author on the study, had a paper in JCO that had shown that, uh, that you know, platinum agents were great in this subgroup of these pancreas cancers. So then, of course, uh, over time, we understood that it was, that it was the deficiency in homologous recombination in BRCA that was, that was driving this kind of sensitivity. So then, when uh, the PARP inhibitor class of agents was developed, you know, naturally this became, you know, something. I think a lot of people at first looked at pancreas cancer and they said there's no way an oral agent will ever be able to control this disease if 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 fulfirinox you know can only extend uh, disease free survival or, or I should say it can can only hold disease off um, progression free survival you know by a few months how is this oral agent going to ever do this and so I think that was the real gamble here is I think there were a lot of naysayers who felt that this probably wouldn't work um, and so anyway the the trial was born of that 